Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Division. I'm here with Andrew Nathan Rodriguez here at Sports Star 60. I'm your sports reporter, Yeso Arias. Andrew, second round stoppage. What a moment for you. I mean, look at your family right here. Look at this crowd that you have here. I mean, you love the arena from your family to your friends. How is that moment and what was that, what was that moment like for you knowing you got your hands raised in front of the people that love you? Honestly, I just want to say I'm truly blessed to be favored by God in this lifetime. Everything that I've been ever working for since I was a child has been through Him. And I'm just very blessed to have a supporter just like everybody here to show me love. I've showed genuineism and love to everybody and it's only reciprocated back. In the second round, it looked like your opponent trying to get you for a chokehold, but you managed to work your way out there, get the top position. He was on his stomach, you were on top of his back, pounding on the side of his head, and really, you really got the upper hand on that. What really worked for you this evening, and what was the overall game plan? Did you really walk in there wanting to get the stop early stoppage KO, or you know what, let's see what happens, let's see what my opponent brings to me. I have really good uh, instincts on his feet. I really wanted to knock him out in the first round. I didn't get my moment, but I knew if I was calm and collected. He did have a choke, but I knew he was forcing it. it there was no way he was going to choke me out. You, you literally have to kill me in the cage, and I truly believe that. And I always work with my boy, Richie Miranda, and I see him finish all his fights like that. And so when I was on top of him, pounding him out, I really knew that it was my time to shine and nothing was going to be taken. Definitely nothing was taken, especially in that first round. Your one-two combinations definitely hit, definitely really just shook him up a little bit. What really, how did you really, was that the overall game plan? Just And you got him with a good stomach punch, punches also. So the one-two combinations worked out in your favor also, along with the ground control also. So what was that? Did he give you anything surprising that you kind of didn't know he was really, he could do? Well, I know he's a women's defense boxing coach out of L.A., so I knew the hands we're gonna be there I knew it was gonna be a stand-up fight but when he went for the choke I said all right you want to go to the ground and let's go and once I saw him turtle and shell over and give me his back I knew it was over there is no way that he was gonna pull me off or get me off his back I'm literally like a backpack when you when I get on top of someone I go against all the best training guys in my den at the den training center in your Belinda and that guy had nothing compared to everybody I ever go against you definitely show that this evening. Now, well, how do you take this monumental win? Not only this monumental win, but just this overall moment with you heading in further into your MMA career. Um, I'm just really thankful that Sparstar has a promotion just like this. And, I mean, everything that I've been working for, I can't wait to show for the third fight. Get another knockout and just continue to build my record upon that. I know that if I continue to put the hard work behind my talent, no one could compete with me. Absolutely. Congratulations. There's been Alpha Thank you.